guys, it's Coco and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video all about me. This is the Get to Know Me Challenge, challenge tag, because I've never really said anything about myself apart from things that I love, what books I'm reading and like my fashion sense and stuff like that. So I don't know if you want to know anything about me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I think I'm just going to get started on these questions because there's quite a lot and yeah, I don't want this to be a really, really long video. Let's get into it. So the first question is, what is your name? My name is Coco. Yes, that is my real name. Coco spelt like Coco Pops, not with an A on the end is all I'm trying to say. Um, question number two is, what is your middle name? My middle name is actually Mallory. My channel name is Coco Mallory, my first and second name. I don't really hate or love my second name. It's just there. It's all right. I just don't really want friends and family like finding my channel yet. So that's why I didn't use my last name. Question number three, where are you from? I'm from England. It's a 40 minute train from London. Oh, I just did number three and number four together. Number three was where are you from? And number four is where do you live? So yeah, England, Southeast. Number five, what do you do for a living? I don't. So basically I'm 19, so I've finished school. I'm actually on a gap year right now, but I messed up my A-levels, so I'm actually retaking physics. Um, so that's why my gap year isn't really focused around traveling and lots of fun and stuff. So well done, go, go. Right now to try and get money so that I can travel in summer, I've just been babysitting and waitressing at a cafe. But yeah, who knows what I'll do in the future. Um, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. It always has been. What is my star sign? My star sign is Libra, I think. I'm not into that. I don't know anything about star signs, who I'm compatible with, what are my traits. I would have no idea, honestly. I just know I'm a Libra because my birthday is September 28th, 1998. What is your favorite music genre? I love indie. It's, it's, it's indie anything, it's indie rock, indie pop. It's just my favorite and I've loved it since I was like 14. Who is your favorite musician? I don't think I have a favourite because my favourite changes all the time. I like bands, but I'll give you a few examples. I really like The Night Cafe. Blaine Avon. You keep running through my head, swear so. Addie Sullivan. I like Sundara Karma. They're really good. You should go and check them out. What is my favorite food? Pizza. I absolutely love pizza. Although now that I've gone plant-based, I don't really know how I'm gonna eat it. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll make a pizza. What is my favorite drink? I don't really have a favorite drink. I don't know. My favorite holiday. Oh wait, so I think this is an American tag. So holiday in America is like Christmas, Thanksgiving, but holiday to me means vacation, but I'll do both. I'll do both. My favorite holiday as in Christmas, blah, blah, blah. New year. I really, really love new year. I just like having a fresh start in the new year. I think that's really fun. And I absolutely love going out with my friends, dressing up and doing the countdown. Yeah. And then holiday as in vacation, Japan. I just went to Japan with my dad and my two sisters. It was incredible, so good. What is my favorite pastime? Oh, I don't, again, I don't have a favorite. I have quite a few things that I really, really love like reading, listening to music, watching like TV shows and movies and stuff. I love doing team sports. And of course I love doing YouTube now. Um, that's a new thing, that's a new hobby of mine. What is my favorite sport? My favorite sport to watch, I would say is athletics. Um, like watching the heptathlon, you get to watch 
high jump, long jump, shot put, hurdles, sprints, javelin, and 800 meters and stuff. But yeah, I used to do pentathlon when I was like 15, and I got to be, I think I was second in the country for indoors, and then fourth in the country for outdoor pentathlon which is pretty good I think. What I love to do is netball. I bloody love netball. Um, I was netball captain of our first team at school. My second favourite one, uh, which I also did at school from year seven to year 13, is lacrosse. Absolutely love that sport. We actually won our national competition when I was in year 12. So when I was 17, what is something you wish you were talented at? Playing an instrument, for sure. I really want to learn the guitar and try and teach myself. I need to get a guitar to be able to do that, so we'll see. What are some of your bad habits? I used to bite my nails, so they're super weak now. But I don't bite them anymore, but instead I like pick at them, which is really gross and annoying. What is on the top of your bucket list? Travel. I think just a lot of traveling. I've always loved it and I think it's really important. What are three long-term goals? Long-term goals. To be happy. <laughs> With YouTube, I would like to be able to support myself financially. Just learn more, I think. Just about everything. Learn more, like instruments, reading, the world, traveling, politics, blah, blah, blah. What are three short-term goals? Get at least a B in my physics A-level and get into uni, I'll keep that as one. Well. Save enough money for my interrailing in summer. Be healthier. What are you doing today to help you achieve those goals? I am making a YouTube video. I am wearing my happy jumper. I'm eating healthily. I've had smoothies today. <laughs> um, I am going to revise after this. Don't you worry, I will be doing some revision. Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty well. What? is an ideal first date for you. So, fun fact, I've never been on a date before. Yes, I'm 19, almost 20, and I've never been on a date. Um, so, who knows if what I'm thinking up here would even be a good date, but I think just a really chill evening. I don't know, some food somewhere. It doesn't have to be a really fancy restaurant. In fact, less fancy means less pressure, and just, chill somewhere and talk. I feel like the first date is supposed to be all about getting to know each other. So going to like see a film, what's the point in that? Like you won't even know if you want to go on a second date or not. So yeah, I don't I don't actually know because I've never been on one. What is something you look for in a partner? Um again, I've never had a boyfriend, so I don't know that they're kind. Is that really boring? I guess I think being really funny um, is something that I really like in a guy. Which of your parents are you closest to? I don't wanna answer that question. <laughs> what is the last book you read? The last book I read was Out of the Blue. Favorite subject in school? Maths or economics? Yeah, I know. I know, I really like maths. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be doing economics at university. What subject were you best at? Uh, maths. I got an A at A level maths. I should have got an A star, but I messed up my C4 badly. What piece of technology can you not live without? I mean, I guess my phone, but like I can live without it. I've done it before. And I feel like if someone just took it away from me now, I'd be fine. What countries have you visited? I've visited quite a lot because living in England means that obviously I'm right next to the rest of Europe and it's really cheap to get there. So I've been to France, Italy, Austria, Spain, Japan, Thailand, been to America, but only to Orlando, Florida, Disney. So don't really think that counts. Turkey, Greece, been to Scotland. I haven't actually been to Ireland or Wales, which is weird because they're literally joined onto my country. Oh, I've been to the Netherlands. I can't think of anywhere else that I've been, but that's quite a lot. I'm lucky I've traveled quite a lot in my life. Um, so thank you parents for that. What countries would you like to visit? America, I would love to do more there. Australia and, oh, I've been to Egypt as well. I would also like to do like an island somewhere, Bali. I don't know, everywhere. How many relationships have you been in? None. My most embarrassing memory. Oh god, I've had 
a lot actually. My shorts in PE class split once. That wasn't fun. I tipped my tray of food onto a teacher by accident obviously but that was embarrassing. You know what there's way more but I can't place them right now. How tall am I? I don't actually know for sure but I think I'm five foot six. Are you slash have you gone to college? No I'm not in college or university yet but I have applied and I've been given an offer for Sussex University which is right next to Brighton so fingers crossed that I get in. I have to get a B in my physics exam. What is your favourite book? That's tricky because I like a lot of books. I like reading. I would say Harry Potter. Any Harry Potter book is my favourite but if I had to say one of them, The Goblet of Fire. So if I had to pick like a more adult book I would actually say Call Me By My Name. <laughs> call Me By My Name. I'd say Call Me By Your Name which is just here. Oh turn my light on. this book my favorite favorite book call me by your name favorite film also so good oh my god timothy Ooh. what are some of your favorite youtubers i love zoella zoe sag she's great i started watching her when i was like 11 so for a good eight years i've watched her currently i'm loving emma chamberlain and cody co who else i love conan gray Oh yeah, I love um, all of the like Sephora collection girls right now. So that's like Marla, Hannah Maloche, Ellie Thuman, Eris the Planet. She's awesome. What is my favourite movie? My fave of all time? There's too many. Too many. I can't pick one. Harry Potter? No, um, I can't. I won't do that. Movies that I always go back to watch like for the 50th time. Cinderella Story, Easy A. Just loads of like chick flicks I really like. How would you describe your fashion sense? I honestly don't know. I just wear whatever I like and it changes all the time. I want to be someone who has like a specific as aesthetic. How do you say it? I don't know. Like I want to dress like Zoella because she's like really clean cut, colourful, edgy, cool, keeping up with trends. But then I also want to be like a thrifter and I go to like charity shops and get all of the cheap deals and like really cool vintage retro stuff, a bit like Conan Grey. And then I want to be like a really pretty girly girl who wears floaty dresses and stuff like that. But that's not really my personality, but I want to be that. But then I also just love wearing band t-shirts and jeans. I like being a bit grungy sometimes. So I don't have a specific fashion sense and it just confuses me. I guess it depends on what my mood is. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Oh, there's so many. My childhood TV programs like Hannah Montana, Drake and Josh, Lizzie McGuire, That's So Raven. Love all of those. Now I'm watching Peaky Blinders, Game of Thrones, love that. Gossip Girl, I love Gossip Girl. I've watched the whole series. Like, four times I think. I love 90210 which unfortunately has been taken off Netflix. I like Teen Wolf because uh, Dylan O'Brien. Whoa. I didn't like Pretty Little Liars. That just dragged on. Grey's Anatomy. That's I think Grey's Anatomy could be my favourite of all time. I've watched that like three times all the way through. So yeah. That's the last question. I hope you learned a little bit more about myself and I hope it didn't scare you off. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you did. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.